What's up everyone, it's Nilsson here and welcome back to another video. Today let's talk about this computer, the M1 Mac Mini. But before we start, let me tell you why I sold my old computer to buy this M1 Mac Mini. So let's get started. My old computer wasn't that bad. I had the Ryzen 1700 CPU, 32GB of RAM, EMD Radeon 580 with 8GB and a 1TB SSD drive. So basically the only thing holding back my computer was the GPU, and editing 4K footage with it was actually a nightmare, especially when you start adding effects and color grading. So the natural move would be to buy a better GPU, but as you know, it's basically impossible to buy one without paying a fortune. So for this reason, I decided to sell everything and get the M1 Mac Mini instead. Now that you guys know the reason why I sold my old computer, I will now talk about my experience using this M1 Mac Mini. This is the base model M1 Mac Mini. It has an 8-core CPU, 8GB of RAM and a 256GB of internal storage. The design is very compact compared to my old computer. I can just leave it on my desk and it doesn't take much space at all. Around the back you get some ports including two Thunderbolt ports, two USB-A, HDMI 2.0, internet port and a headphone jack. Now, since editing 4K videos was the thing that was stressing me out the most about my old computer, let's talk about that first. To edit my videos, I use DaVinci Resolve Studio, so that's the one I'm gonna be talking about. The first improvement I noticed was how fast I was able to open DaVinci Resolve and get my project running. The second improvement I noticed is how smooth I can navigate through the timeline. I can zoom in and zoom out and it doesn't struggle at all. I press play and it plays the video right away. Now, this might look like a simple task, but my old computer will take a bit of time to do things like this. The third improvement is the fact that there is no fan noise at all. I can edit and export the whole video and the fan will stay quiet the whole time. And that's very impressive, especially when you consider how small this computer is. My old computer would make a lot of noise whenever I was editing or exporting my videos. Now let's talk about the limitations of this M1 Mac Mini. These limitations start to show up whenever you start adding effects. If you just do color grading, it will be able to handle it. But as soon as you start adding transition effects and noise reduction, it will struggle big time. Here, as an example, I've added a transition effect. And if I try to play it back in real time, unfortunately, it won't be able to handle it. Now, despite these limitations, I'm still very impressed with the performance of this computer, especially at this price point. We should not forget that this is a very compact computer with low power consumption and an integrated GPU. And that's why I'm very excited for the new M1 Mac computers. The reason why I didn't buy a laptop before was the fact that they were very expensive and the performance wasn't that great either. And on top of that, they run very hot and noisy. But now, if Apple releases a MacBook Pro with a reasonable price and better performance than this M1 Mac Mini, then I see no reasons to not get one. Now, many of you are probably wondering if 8GB of RAM would be enough or not. Well, in my experience, it has been holding up pretty well. Whenever I'm working on my YouTube videos, I would have many applications open at the same time, such as Google Chrome, DaVinci Resolve, Photoshop and Audacity and I didn't notice any performance decrease, which is very impressive. With my old computer, I had 32GB of RAM and multitasking on that computer was very good. And I'm happy to see that I can still run as many applications as I used to on this M1 Mac Mini with only 80GB of RAM. Now the question is who should buy this computer? Well, this computer might be suitable for many people out there. For instance, if you're looking to buy your first Mac computer, then this M1 Mac Mini is a great option for you. It's the cheapest Mac you can buy and the performance is on the same level as the M1 MacBook Pro, which costs way more. Also, if you are just looking for a computer to browse the web, watch videos or to do schoolwork, then this M1 Mac Mini is a fantastic option for you. It's fast, compact and silent. 
so no fan noise to distract you from doing your homework. So if you are looking for a computer to do some creative work such as photo editing, 4K video editing, but you can't afford anything more expensive, then I will recommend this M1 Mac Mini. Even though there are some limitations when editing 4K videos with this computer, but for the price, size and performance you get, I think it's a great budget option. Now when it comes to gaming, this M1 Mac Mini is not a good option. The only game I play on this computer is League of Legends, and the performance is not that great. I get around 80 FPS with medium settings, which is very bad compared to my old computer, where I used to get around 130 FPS. So if you are just looking for a computer to play games, then you should buy something else. Now let's talk about the issues I had with this M1 Mac Mini. Some users have reported issues with Bluetooth connectivity. I personally only experienced this once, and it happened when I was setting up my Mac computer for the first time. For some reason I wasn't able to connect my Bluetooth keyboard to the M1 Mac Mini, but after that I didn't experience any more issues with Bluetooth connectivity. Now the only issue I'm currently having is that sometimes I get some random glitches on my screen. I hope they can fix this in the next updates. But apart from that, I'm very happy with this computer. That's all for today guys, thank you very much for watching my videos, I have more stuff coming out soon, so if you have any suggestions on what you would like to see more on this channel, please let me know in the comments below. Once again, thanks for watching and I will see you next time.